Nigeria has extended its border closure to January 2020. What does this mean for trade in the sub-region? Let's have a conversation with members of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta, in this episode of News Connect on City TV. My name is Kojo Ajman. Stay tuned. What is happening is the unfair trade practices the Nigerians are deploying, which is not good. Look, these 43 items that has been banned, it has some of the things that we manufactured locally in Ghana here. So if these items are found on the list, how do you expect our local industries to thrive in terms of export exchange. And the ECOWAS protocol seeks to address um, the, the, the exchange of trade within, uh, amongst ourselves. But if you abandon things that are manufactured here in Ghana, not to enter your country, I don't think it's fair. In another way, Whatever they are trying to do, like I will quote from Franklin Kujo. He actually wrote an article which I have read. Some countries in the 50s and 60s tried doing same like the Nigerians are doing. With these modern times, well, I don't know whether it will backfire like those countries, you know, it did backfire on them. But if I... Pick one or two from what he plays on, 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 on in the article. Then Nigerians should actually look at certain things again. Because even in our society, you will need people who will actually lift you up when you are doing anything. So it's, it will be of a better interest for the two countries, and for that matter, the sub-region, to sit down and look at certain things again. Chairman, are you not surprised that um, the Nigerians are behaving so at a time when we've signed a treaty to allow free trade of goods and services? Well, my brother, let me tell you, I'm not surprised one bit. Uh, and what the Nigerians are doing, I say thumbs up. Yes, thumbs up. I know you'll be surprised, but uh, I'll explain. The reason why they are doing that, in as much as it's unfortunate, in their heart of mind, they think they are protecting their indigents. You get it? Because it's read after assenting into ECOWAS protocol, then you go ahead to ban 43 items from entering your country, of which <laughs> you'll be surprised that's including cement. Mm -hmm. And we sit here, you look at them without saying anything. Whereas we have factories that will able to meet our demand when it comes to cement. Then this is a call for us to also um, sort of protect our own and take advantage of their goods and services that we hitherto were important from them. Exactly. And uh, it's quite surprising that you hear some deputy ministers saying that... Uh, we need Nigerians more than we, they need us. It's unfortunate. It's never true. Tell me one cement company or factory or manufacturer that is from Ghana that is doing well in Nigeria. Tell me one bank. Hmm? Tell me one us of late people who are saying tel telecos, the telcos. Just tell me one that is from Ghana that is doing well in Nigeria. None. So it presupposes or it tells us that they need us more than we need them. Are you drumming home the essence of we taking advantage of the situation to sort of um, cultivate um, some of the things that we import from Nigeria, like rice, and also try to manufacture our own things here? Yes, yes. I think it's, it's, it, it has a very good linkage. We need to take a cue from them. All right, maybe they'll even 
took it from us. Because in Ghana, we have a lot of think tanks. People who really think for the, think for the country. But I tell you, if Ghana are to take some of the commodities off the chart, for us to do it here, I think it will help. Me, what I want our government to do, and that is the stand of my association, we should go the way Nigeria is going, and it will help us. We should stop doing ECOWAS, ECOWAS, ECOWAS. We should think about Ghana first. These people are thinking about their country. Mm? They, I think I should have, government should have even made an announcement that beginning maybe November, first November, today is fourth, we should ban the importation of cement from Nigeria. Mm. Yeah, don't go to cement, you should place a man on it. Because they cannot treat us the way they like. You see, they pride themselves that they are big brothers to Ghanaians. If you're a big brother, you set good example. What example are they setting as big brothers? Listen, they cannot threaten Ghana with their population. They are more than us, but we've been beating them when they come to football. So it tells you. So it means that in business, you can also beat them. You can also beat them. We are smarter than them. I'm telling you. We are smarter than them. So I see no reason why they want to bully themselves out and sometimes our people to checking out. When you yeah. say your people, what that, I mean, I'm government officials. Government. Mm. You see, I want to entreat our government. Mm? They should be men enough. They should stand up and be counted. They shouldn't be afraid. Ghana is a sovereign state. Mm? Let us package ourselves well. Let us also me, I want to appeal to the government and suggest to him. Let's say in the next 10 years, mm, we should select about five or eight products. Mm. That this product, in the next two, three, four, six, eight years, we will stop importation of those items. It's a very good era for the two countries. We learn from each other. Why are the Nigerians doing that? We need to ask that question first. The local rice farmers were losing their livelihood. Today, the farmers are, uh, are really celebrating. The government have spoken. The government have laid down a procedure that will help them. That is governance. Governance means come and solve problems. Governance doesn't mean come and enrich yourself. No. We need to have a change. And this change must have to change Ghanaians. Are you getting it? This change that we look for must change Ghanaians. You see, we don't need rocket science to tell our people, our leaders, that even if there is no laws in Ghana, common sense should educate them and tell them that our people need to be protected. That will be all for this episode of News Connect on City TV. My name is Kojo Ajman. Keep watching City TV.